Have you ever been super excited to try a shiny new set of headphones you plunked down a bunch of money on, but walked away feeling like the sound just wasn't quite what you expected? Maybe you got drawn in by an expensive marketing campaign for a pair of headphones that couldn't possibly live up to all the hype, but you may have also overlooked their frequency response. One of the key things that separates one set of headphones from another, but often only gets one little line on a spec sheet. Usually, a headphone manufacturer will describe frequency response as a range of tones that a headphone can reproduce. You might see something like 20 to 20,000 hertz, for example, which also happens to be the range of human hearing. Since most people can't hear lower than 20 hertz or higher than 20,000 hertz, it might at first look like a cheap pair of headphones that lists this as its frequency response can reproduce every sound you could ever want to hear. Unfortunately though, those numbers are only a pretty small part of the story. Because different headphones are constructed in different ways, there are pretty significant differences between how various models will reproduce sounds within the low, mid, and high ranges. Even if a headphone promises a frequency response well beyond your range of hearing, every frequency might not be reproduced with the same loudness or clarity. The result could make you end up feeling like you're listening to something through a pretty bad equalizer, even if you're not using one at all. So how can you know whether a particular pair of headphones will sound the way you expect? While this can be pretty tricky until you actually try them out, many popular headphone models have been tested by various independent websites and even individual hobbyists with the actual frequency response being plotted on graphs that show how loud the headphones get at each frequency. Many less expensive headphones have what's called a V-shaped sound signature, meaning that they have emphasis on the bass and the treble instead of the mid-range forming a V-shape on a frequency response graph. Other kinds of headphones are more bass heavy and are louder in the low range, or are bright and have more emphasis on the treble. But if you want a very true to the recording sound that isn't skewed in any particular direction, it's a good idea to find a set of headphones with a flat or neutral sound signature that can reproduce lows, mids, and highs more or less equally. And although many audiophiles go for neutral sounding headphones, this doesn't necessarily that they're the best for everyone. For example, many people who like electronic music or hip hop go for bassier headphones that let them feel the lows a little bit more. Ultimately, of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that includes sound too. So at the end of the day, what's most important is buying something that you think sounds good. Just don't let yourself be swayed too much by, you know, celebrity endorsements or your buddy who primarily uses his headphones as a fashion statement. Speaking of powerful and beautiful and simple things, I don't know if I said any of those words, Squarespace! You can make websites very easily that look really good on Squarespace. It's a whole solution platform that can get you started right away with no credit card required. If you're getting troubles with your website, they have 24-7 live chat and email support. They, it only costs eight bucks a month, and if you sign up for an entire year, you get a domain for free. They have their cover page models if you want to make a singular page or something like a resume or or a cover page, it will look very good. They have commerce modules, just in case you need to sell something. All that kind of stuff, they've got you hooked up. So go to Squarespace and use offer code Linus for 10% off your first purchase. Squarespace, build it beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video or dislike it if you just like hated it or something. That's fine as well, I guess. I kind of need a job, but you know, whatever. Up there, this channel's super fun. I have no idea what we're doing up there. It's Things are crazy. Go check it out. There's someone vacuuming. I don't know if you've heard that. That's probably not going to be in Channel Super Fun, but it might be, so I'd go check it out. Extreme vacuuming! <sighs> don't forget to subscribe.